So, I was in a beauty supply store. I saw this Bow Wow Twist King uh, comb. So, I was curious to see how it works. Tried to find some videos on it. Just found a couple, but I didn't get a good estimate of what it would look like with my type of hair and things like that. So, if I can't find a video, why not make a video? So, I'm doing my part. So, I'm going to show what the typical sponge does, which takes forever. Hence, is why I'm in the car on a beautiful day. I'm going to do it while I drive because it takes so long. And I'll fast forward through the parts that you guys don't need to see. And I'll comb my hair back out after using this. And then I'll show you the results with using this. So you can compare the two. And uh, go. All right. So this tends to take a while. I use a flat side. I don't quite see the difference in the two sides of the sponges. This one makes them a lot bigger. This one I can kind of control it a little bit more. So let's use the flat side first. So I'm going to go ahead and get up on that hill. It's a lot easier when you're going down a straightaway to actually do this so let me wait till I'm on of a straight road and when I'm actually standing still maybe I should be wearing my seatbelt when doing this right making it a horrible uh, <laughs> horrible example for safety alright I apologize for the horrible example of safety put my seatbelt on there keep your eyes on the road it can take quite a while especially when you're pressing really soft but I'm gonna show you the two variations when you press really soft and just get the tips. And then I'll show you when I actually start pressing hard to the different looks you can get with this sponge. So, oh man, I should have had a live timer. Should have had a live clock playing right now. On how long this actually takes me. But you guys aren't really concerned about the time. You're just concerned about the results, so. I'll keep on really lightly. I would say that's that's the look you're gonna get if you go really soft with the sponge. You get, you know, you can restyle it. You can move the hair around. You're gonna use, you're gonna get just the edges. Let me be honest with you. How does that look? Huh? Honest feedback. All right. So now. I'm gonna use the sponge still, but now I'm gonna press a lot more firmly with the sponge. So now, pressing firmly with the sponge, and I like the sponge with the little holes so you can get more defined twists. The only downside to the sponge is it does take a down. Let me not say the only downside. Some of the downsides to the sponge is it does take quite a while to get these results. As you can see, I'm going at my head like crazy and it takes a little bit. And if this is what you're doing first thing in the morning, it can be a little frustrating if you don't quite get the look you're going after. So, not to mention these sponges deteriorate over the time. They, but then they begin to tear, they, they catch your hair. So, it's one of the sides of uh, using the sponge. And as you can see, the hair is twisting up there. That's what we're getting with the sponge. The sponge was frustrating. I couldn't quite get the look I was always looking for. Every so often, it would kind of fit what I'm trying to do. But it takes so long. And then you can get frustrated and say, man, forget it. It looked good enough. Like now. See how some of here is like more taken to the curls than it is in here. So you fight with it, your hair feels like it looks messy. It looks good, but it looks messy. It's not quite the look you were going for. And uh so as you can see can use the sponge as your comb to kind of adjust and get more into the twists but uh again I was quite frustrated with this with this uh, sponge concept so I was very open to this Bow Wow Twist King idea so let's go ahead and pick out the hair start over and let's really go to the purpose of this video to see the results of this thing. As you can see what the sponge does to the hair. That's what the sponge does. All right, now let's 
pick out my hair and use this whiskey. Start over. Ooh, oh, that's oh, that's the only part that kind of sucks. Now that my hair's all twisted, ah, I gotta pick it out. Uh, feels good, but it hurts at the same time. Oh. Oh. All right, so the hair's all picked out now. I'm gonna use the Bow Wow Twist King thumbnail. It's already open. Get that off to the side, and now let's use this thing. I like it, it's very durable, it's washable, the sponge, you're not going to really wash that and if you have products all in that sponge, it can get kind of gross, you're going to have to toss it out. This, you can actually use it again, so let's check it out. Again, we're going to go really light, I like, even like it the way this thing feels, it has a good grip to it, good, good ergonomics, reminds me of like a wave brush, pretty cool, and we're going to go really light on it first, just kind of touch the head, just let it grab a little bit. And then we're gonna dig deep on it. So, <laughs> dig deep. The light on the hair, very similar to what the uh, sponge was able to do, but in half the time. With that sponge, I was twirling, my wrist was wore out. And I think in half the time, I established the same effect that I got from the sponge. With very light touching, hitting the hair, and then now you can tease it to how you want the hairs to look really lightly and I achieve the same effect with this but the thing I like about this now if I go very firmly the twist effect is totally different so well not totally different the, the twist effect is more pronounced so let's go ahead and uh, press firmly now and see what it looks like with a little more agitation As you can see, we got a lot of twists happening on this side. Let's try to spread that out to the other side. Did I tell you this takes a while? Yeah, it takes a while. All right. Now, I hope y'all don't feel like how I feel when I watch some of the videos. I watch some of the videos like, that's the look you was going for? <laughs> nah, yeah, this is the look I'm going for. But. The more you do this, the more of a find you can get it. You can really get the twist to get a nice little curl. You can tease the hair. You can get it go the directions you want. I think that's kind of fly right there. You know I'm saying, if y'all not digging it, you can go to hell. <laughs> nah, but uh, I really like the effects you can get from this whole sponge. Oop, see, there you go. I'm, uh, I'm so accustomed to saying sponge. I like the effect you can get from this rubber. I don't even know what to call it. But I like what it does. Look at those twists. The twists are good. And again, if you keep doing this, they just get better and better. It just really takes some uh, some elbow grease, literally. Like, my elbow's going to be worn out after this. It takes some elbow grease to really get your hair going the way you want it to look. But once you really got it going, it looks great, baby. Let's keep going. Let's get a couple more. Let's get a little more. Again, I wanna, I wanna have that look where. So, all right, I could kind of go out just, just like that. Good. As you can see, you just adjust the twist. And the great thing about what this does for the twist, if, for instance, if I don't want to rock this kind of a style right here, and I did want to actually twist my hair, get some twisting lock gel. It already pre-started all of the twists for me, so I don't have to go in there with a parting comb and figure out how to lay out my twist. It already started the twist for me. So I could go ahead and go twist my hair on my own. I don't have to go to a salon or anything to get somebody to twist my hair for me. The Red Premium Bow Wow Twist King. Gotta say, I would definitely recommend it. It's a, it's a great product, and uh, man, I wish I would have thought of it. Pretty good. Really, really simple design, but uh, it does the job. It gets the job done. So again, Bow Wow Twist King, gotta give it a good review. I like it. Try it out. This is the look you're gonna get from it. If you have shorter hair, obviously the results are gonna be slightly different, but uh, thumbs up. I dig it.